Hi, I'm Tori from Steel Sisters. I'm here at the moment in St. George's Works in our new retail site. The project started around August, September time. So there was quite a bit of pressure for us to be open for Christmas. We managed to turn the project around in about four weeks using local tradespeople, which was fantastic. The business has gone from strength to strength and we're noticing a great uplift in the footfall over in our Froome site. So we made the decision based on this. It was a great time and a great opportunity to bring this offering over to Trowbridge. We did some research into the demographic that were coming to our sites in Froome and we found that about 50% of our customers were actually traveling over from Trowbridge. So when the opportunity for the future high street funds became available, for us, it made sense and it was a good time for the business to take this opportunity and bring this experience to Trowbridge. We opened up as a shop to start with so people could come in and they could buy their bottles of gin from us. We have a tasting bar where customers can come in and they can try each of the gins that we distill. They can come in for a gin and tonic. We do a range of cocktails. So we've kind of got a tasting bar, a little bit of a shop, and then we have our gin tasting experiences. We offer these packages on a Friday and on a Saturday where customers can book in online for the tasting experiences. We have the opportunity to just come in and try each of the gins that we distill. You can mix them with a range of tonics, garnishes. It's a really interactive, exciting experience and really different to anything else that you'll find on the high street. We also offer our gin schools where you will be given a um, two and a half litre copper still where you can come in and you can choose a range of botanicals and you can create your own gin. We also offer the opportunity to distill your own rum. We've employed four new members of staff from Trowbridge. So they work Fridays and Saturdays. They're a great team. It's a really welcoming, exciting experience. Um, they'll talk you through the whole process. So they'll talk to you about the distillation process, how we make our gins. So our signature botanicals in our gin are all locally grown, locally sourced by small independents just like us. And we plan to um, start distilling on site as well. So we will be using the 50 litre um, copper still to do some distillation. This is what we do on our site over in Froome. We're um, looking at developing lots of different packages over the next sort of 12 to 24 months. We're starting in the next couple of months with our 0% um, offering where you can come in and you can try our 0% botanical spirit, which is completely new to us this year. So you can come in and try this along with a range of tonics, lemonade, soda water, and a range of garnishes that we offer too. We've got ice cream for the kids. So if you want to come in with the kids, bring the kids in. We also are dog friendly. So if you want to bring your four-legged friends in with you as well. We're also accessible, so we've got our ramp outside, so we are accessible to everybody. We are super excited about what we've created here in Trowbridge, and we are super excited to welcome people in through our doors. And yeah, come in, talk to us, talk to us about our experiences, talk to us about what we can do for you. We decided to choose this particular place and this particular property on St. George's Works. It's a little bit off the beaten track and people thought we were crazy because we weren't going into the high street. It's exclusive, it's a destination. Um, we've got beautiful surroundings down here. We've got a lovely cobbled street. We've got the beautiful hanging baskets and the floral displays. It's a lovely little community vibe down here. And we want it to be a bit of a foodie, drinky destination for people. So we took over St. George's Works from a hairdresser. So when we took over the property, there was quite a lot of work to be done. There was quite a lot of mold in the property. There was quite a lot of condensation. So the team worked really hard to get it up to the standard that it is now. We built an area for us still. So we've knocked through into what was their staff room and we've created a space for our 50 litre copper still. What it's been able to allow us to do is create a little bit of a kitchenette area where we're able to provide food. So we have some great food packages. We are working on cheese and charcuterie boards. We're doing tapas, we're doing afternoon tea. So there was quite a lot of work to do to the property to get it up to the standard that it is now. And um, we've taken out a little bit of a partition wall just to create a bit more of an open area and to create the feel 
um, in this place of like, it's an open space, you can come, you can mingle. So we worked closely with a company called the Craft Distilling Business that are based up in London. And they worked with Hannah and I, and were trained us how to distill and talked us through the whole distillation process, helped with some of our recipe development. Each of the stills that we've had installed legally has to have a name and each of our stills has a little nameplate on the front of them. We like to think that over in um, Froome, we, when we first started, so where we were trailblazing for sisters distilling, um, we decided to call this one Storm. So she's over there causing a little bit of chaos. Um, and then over in Trowbridge, we have our uh, um, other still, which is called Sunshine. So we like to think that we're bringing a little bit of sunshine to Trowbridge. My sister and I both live in Trowbridge. So we know the high street and we know the town very well. We're very familiar with it. My sister and I are always looking for experiences like this and felt Trowbridge was really in need of a space where you could go for a craft distillation experience. There aren't many high streets or towns that have experiences like this. We knew the demand was there based on our experience over in Froome. Mm -hmm. Hannah and I felt like it was a great fit. And actually, if we could do something being from Trowbridge to support the high street and get people back out onto the high street, it was a great opportunity for, for us to do this. Mm -hmm.